Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Intuition Angel here reading for the sign of Taurus right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so this may or may not resonate for all Taurus. Check your birth chart. If it does not resonate, go ahead and hit that like button down for me, please, and thank you if it does, okay? So I was tapping into your guys' energy, and I felt like it was like um, someone here, I just saw Nine of Swords, okay? Nine of Swords, Judgment. Nine of Swords and Judgment. That's all I was really getting during the meditation portion. I feel like you guys are like really calm though. The Nine of Swords isn't coming from you guys. Um, you guys are actually really calm. And I feel like there could be like some, I was getting like heart, something about like the heart or like anxiety in the heart. Someone is worried that you have definitely let them go for good, okay? Uh, Taurus, what's going on with Taurus, please? Holy Spirit and Angels. All right, I'll take it. We have power here, Leo energy, but I feel like um, that's your guys' energy. You guys have a silent strength about you. We have crown chakra here, so I feel like you guys are um, very much in tune with your crown chakra. I'm getting something about a masculine energy. Um, someone is trying to clear out their energy, okay? I don't know why I heard that, okay? What else for? Taurus, Blaze for Angels. Okay. Yeah, and the, okay, so we have sacrifice here. So I feel like you guys have the strength and power to let something go. Yeah, and fulfillment of wishes here at the bottom. Let me pull some goddess angels for you guys. Oh, excuse me. All right, for Taurus, what goddesses are with Taurus right now? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What goddesses are with Taurus right now? All right. What goddesses are with Taurus right now? Holy Spirit and angels. Cutting the deck for you guys. Definitely a quick change of energy. I felt like a quick change of energy for you guys. We have Freya, bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. So I feel like what's going on here is someone sees you as someone very bold, okay? Um, you're the type of person to jump into things without knowing what the heck is going to go on. But that could be a strength for some people because they're not afraid to do anything, okay? Um, they're not afraid. Oh, uh, they said that you're not afraid to move on for us, okay? So let's see. Let's get a uh, romance angel for you guys, and then I'll move on to the tarot. Uh, one energy, please, for Taurus. Holy Spirit and Angels, what's going on with Taurus? All right, so we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like someone here is unattractive now. Then we have chemistry here at the bottom. So this person, maybe you do have good chemistry with them. Maybe you can actually um, talk to this person, right? But at the same time, it's unrequited because I feel like something here either needs to be let go of or the fact that something is unrequited is is helping you let go of something, okay? So I feel like you just know someone is just not good for you, uh, Taurus, okay? Let's see. You're really bold and you're really brave. I just heard you're brave for letting this person go. And you're going to be getting your wish fulfillment um, soon, I just heard, okay? So let's get some energy, please, for Taurus right now. Holy Spirit and Angels. What's going on with Taurus? Someone rising Venus. Hangman in the reverse here. Enlightenment. Light bulb moment. An aha moment. Someone sees something from a different perspective. I feel like someone is waking up out of some sort of like mm, fog here. We have the sun here in reverse. Something here has been revealed. Whatever has been revealed here is, is not happy, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo. It's not making someone happy here. Um... Let's see. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups here. Okay. I feel like you're, you're, you could be emotional right now, Taurus. And there's a person here around you. There's a secret that came out about a person. And it's like you, you're, you're realizing that you deserve love, but you're very emotional as you move on. Okay. One more, please, for Taurus. Not emotional in a bad way, though. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups here as the last card that came out, so I'm going to take it as the outcome, okay? Something has been walked away from. Yeah, and then, okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here with the Page of Swords, all right? Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Eight of Cups. This person is watching you walk away with a blessing. This person is watching you walk away with something that they want, okay? 
with something that, yeah, something that they want from you. They could be talking about you too. This person is a little bit, um, they're a little bit uh, mad that you found something out, okay? So you, maybe you dug deep about something and you became very enlightened. You found something out. Now you see something has a different perspective. You don't want to deal with this person anymore. Whatever you find, whatever you found out, the sun in the reverse here, it just wasn't happy, okay? It just wasn't like, it turned something, it turned you off here, okay? Tell me about the hangman in the reverse, please, for Taurus. Hangman in reverse for Taurus. Six of Pentacles here, okay? What else? Holy Spirit Angels. For Taurus. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here. So I feel like um, someone has been freed from some sort of mental prison from giving to somebody here, okay? Um, someone doesn't want you to give to someone else. I feel like someone sees you as very generous, but at the same time, they can't figure out a way for you to give to them, okay? I feel like you're very enlightened about what this person does. Someone is afraid to ask you for something is what I'm getting to. Someone is afraid to ask you for something. Yeah, okay. So, I got this before in a past Taurus reading. Think about the Eight of Swords, please, for Taurus. They, they could want you for something. They see you for your finances. Could be dealing with a Cancer here, with a Chariot here. I feel like you've moved on. This person is going through some sort of difficulties, though. I see, I see you moving on, but I see them going through difficulties. This person can be trying to make difficulties for you. But all in all, I think that this person is uh, separated from you and they're afraid to ask you for something. All right, tell me about the sun, please, in reverse for Taurus. Why is that here for Taurus? Yeah, we have the seven of swords. You, okay, so you were enlightened. Something came out. Someone tried to get away with something. Someone tried to sabotage something. Someone tried to take something, steal, lie. The lie is out, okay? Seven of swords, okay. Yeah, okay, so we have the five of wands here. This person is really conflicted. Um, this could have involved other people, too. Why the five of wands? Please, for Taurus, Holy Spirit, angels. A lot of competition. This person, yeah, okay, so we have the ace of wands and one to pop up in the reverse. Whatever happened here with these people, it kind of failed. Yeah, because this person was only sexually driven. This person maybe tried to have a lot of people involved in the situation. I'm hearing, like, a... Um, just a group of people doing the same thing, competing for the same person, okay? And I feel like it it makes this person unhappy that this is the only way that they can do things. It's been revealed that there's been other people involved. Yeah, the Ten of Swords here. Something ended here with these people, or you ended this with people, okay? I feel like they want you to be sucked in to whatever the heck is going on right now. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please, for Taurus. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Taurus? Okay. okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you're holding back your energy from this person. I feel like you know what you deserve, so you're going to hold back your energy, okay? Uh, you're an empath. Um, you could, you're could. you very protected, too. You're protecting your energy, um, and you're very protected even without it all, okay? So we have the Tower here. Yeah, I feel like you're avoiding a disaster. You're holding back because you see something as a disaster, okay? I feel like you're watching this Tower go down. You could be witnessing this, is what I'm getting here with the Page of Swords, too. That's the Witness card. We have the Lovers here. This person is shocked to realize that you're actually their person. I don't think that they're going to let you go. Tell me about this tower, please, for Taurus. Yeah, there's that Ten of Swords. Something here ended. All right. Also getting an energy of there could be a Queen of Cups here involved. Someone who's, like, overly emotional, okay? And, yep, there she popped out again. She could be actually devastated by an ending. Yeah, I feel like she's getting walked away from. I don't know what how that resonates for you guys, but she's really heavily in this reading, this Queen of Cups energy. Okay, this person has feelings for you. But there's a disaster here, some sort of like tower moment here. And it ended everything. And you know better and you're going to hold yourself back. This person did involve a third party, okay? Tell me about this Page of Swords, please, for Taurus. Tell me about the Page of Swords, please, for Taurus, Holy Spirit, Angels. Ah, okay, yep, yeah, look. Oh my gosh. Five of Cups, Five of Swords. 
Two fives, very unstable, mentally unstable and emotionally unstable. This person is watching you. They're speaking on you. They're trying to um, find information on you. They're just like really petty. They're trying to do whatever it takes because they're hurt. They're in some sort of regret. They don't want to lose you or something like that. Yeah, we have the two of cups here. Also getting something like someone could be actually jealous of your connection with someone here. Someone could be spying on your connection. I feel like... Mm, I don't know. I feel like this person is left in the dust with all these people that they probably put above you. And it was all passion driven. It was all about sex and things like that. So this person like is embarrassed. Think about that five of cups. Yeah, the eight of wands. Something here probably backfired here on this person. Or they're watching you um, on social media and they're realizing that, you know, they lost you or something like that. Tell me about the ace of pentacles, please, for... Taurus, Ace of Pentacles for Taurus, Three of Wands, if you're waiting for some money to come in for you, you're manifesting it, it's going to definitely come in for you, okay, we have that um, strength again, someone here is trying to resist, oh, someone is like really resisting asking you for something or approaching you and it's about money, Taurus, I see it with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like they're really far from your blessing, it's like they're really far from this Ace of Pentacles. They're like waiting on it to come in or something like that. Or they're waiting for you to message them. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. The Taurus. Knight of Pentacles. That's that money again. Something is coming in slow and it's going to require some patience. I just wanted someone to know that. Someone needs to know that. Spirit wants someone to know that. Okay. Um, something about being patient. I'm also getting shy, too. Someone here is coming towards you. Should, someone here is going to ask you for something, and they're going to come off really shy, or they're really shy of asking you. I don't know. Knight of Pentacles, please, for Taurus, Holy Spirit, Angels. I just saw 12-12. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords and the Death card. They're shy because this is your energy right now. You could be um, having Scorpio in your chart or a lot of air in your chart right now, Taurus. Um, what is this? Okay, yeah, you're, I feel like you're very, you're just transforming on this person. You're ending it. You've had the last say. And this person is, like, waiting for you to, like, come back around or say something to them. Or this has a lot to do with your finances, too. But you've walked away. You've got your back turned toward them, and you're really cold towards them. Yeah, look, we have the moon card, and there's that ace of pentacles again. They're wondering about your money. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please, for Taurus, Holy Spirit, and Angels. As the outcome. There's the Eight of Cups here. We have, uh, okay. So this is you coming out in your reading with the Hierophant. And then we have the Ten of Wands, okay. This person is really burdened that you've elevated in some sort of way. Tell me about the uh, Hierophant, please, for Taurus. Hierophant for Taurus. It's not what I wanted. The Eight of Cups came out again. Tell me about the Hierophant, please, for Taurus. Seven of Cups. Okay. So, this person is really confused about this connection. I feel like this person is like... Um... They have a lot of societal views, you know, on their back right now. They could actually be in some sort of commitment or a marriage that they don't want to be in. And it's very confusing for them. I feel like you're walking away from the illusions. Tell me about this Hierophant, please, for Taurus. There's a Hierophant here for Taurus. Okay. I feel like this person wants to commit to you. With the World card here and the King of Cups. They want to start a new cycle with you. But they could be hiding something with that King of Cups, too. They're trying to be strategic about how to start a new cycle with you. I feel like they're really burdened, okay? Yeah, we have Justice with the Fool card here. It's like they're trying to do the right thing. Trying to be morally correct. Someone here is trying to uh, straighten up their morals for you, is what I'm getting here. Let me get one more, please. For Taurus. Yeah, the Fool card again. It may be risky, because they feel like, you know, they might risk getting hurt here with the Three of Swords. But I feel like they hurt you, and that's their judgment call. 
All right, so let me see. Let's get some energy, please, for Taurus in this reading. Could be a twin flame that you're dealing with. This person remembers you as being their twin flame. Doesn't have to be a twin flame, but this person remembers you, okay? Or they think about the past, or they're awakened about something, okay? Let's see. What's going on with Taurus right now? Holy Spirit and Angels. What's the energy right now for Taurus? We have lack and doubt. Yeah, someone here fears something here. They don't want to ask you what they need to ask you. And then we have third party release or um, third party and external. Why am I hearing release? Maybe this person let go of a third party. But I don't think this third party is letting them go. So keep that in mind too. Yeah, okay. We have contract careers and commitments. This person could be stuck in a, a commitment with the people. I'm hearing people. Then we have uh, sun with strength here. You, got, you guys have a lot of strength. It keeps popping out here. They're admiring your strength. Let me get some more energy, please, for Taurus. Divine intervention and avoidance. Something here happened that... Um, okay. I'm hearing that someone here is avoiding their karma. For others of you, something here happened that, you know, triggered you avoiding them. It was like a deal breaker for you. Okay? Let's get some emotions... Yeah, it was a deal breaker for you and you moved on and you started your own life or you avoided this person. And yeah, I feel like you just know better with this person. Okay, yeah, we have regret here. Um, I know that I cannot change the past. So this could be your energy when you think about this person. You know that you can't change anything. Um, you know that you know it was very unfortunate for this person to do whatever the heck they, they think that they've done. And... You know, you're learning how to move on. I'm also getting for some of you that this person is, like, really regretful. They're down in the dumps here. Um, things for them, they found out something really fast. And things for them aren't going good for them right now. What else? Okay, yeah, all right, so we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So that's you guys. You guys are really balanced. This person regrets trying to maybe throw you off balance. This person could be trying to throw you off balance. Yeah, it's going to fail. We have failure here. I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. So I hope that this person learned from this. I hope that you guys learned from this. Because someone's abundance is messed up here. Someone's abundance is messed up and their alone time. They don't have any alone time is what I'm getting here for you guys, Taurus. All right, so that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.